Red dots on pistols. Honestly, they're probably almost as popular as red dots on rifles nowadays, and for good reason. And today we're going to talk about a new option that just hit the market. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we are going to be talking about the Vortex Defender CCW Red Dot Sight. That's right, Vortex just came out with a brand new handgun, Red Dot, and we're gonna dive in and talk about why this may be a great new option hitting the market. So what is the Defender CCW Red Dot? Well, this is a micro Red Dot designed for your compact and subcompact pistols. So today we're gonna be going over the features. We're going to install it on the SIG P365X Macro, and then we're just going to talk about why this red dot is a great option on the market now. The Defender CCW is going to come in two different models, one being the three MOA dot and one being the six MOA dot. So whether you like a smaller or a larger dot, they're going to have a couple different options. Again, this is a micro red dot, so it fits the Shield RMSC footprint. It has 10 different settings for brightness. The battery life on the Defender CCW on setting six is going to be up to 9,500 hours, and it is powered by a CR1632 battery. Along with that, it does have motion activation. The dot is designed to turn off after 14 hours of no motion, but when you pick your firearm up, if you have the motion activation active on the dot itself, it will turn back on and then you will be ready to rock and roll. So no matter when you pull that firearm out, it's ready to go. You can override the motion activation, set your brightness, and then you're ready to go also. Looking at the construction, it does have a shock shield polymer insert on top. It has their fast rack texture grip on the front. And then honestly, it just feels really rock solid. It's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. The main feature of the Defender is not only that it's a micro red dot, but that it has such a large window. The window is the largest in its class, and honestly, that's one of the things I noticed right off the bat, is how large the window is, even though this is such a small red dot. So let's take a look inside of the package to see everything that's included, because honestly, it's insane. All right, so let's take a look at everything that is included. So as always, Vortex does a phenomenal job with their packaging. I know it doesn't really matter, but I like cool packaging and this is really, really nice. Got your dot here, comes with the cover and on the Picatinny mount. All right, so we'll pull this out and everything that comes with it. It's crazy everything that comes with this dot. Put that to the side. So we've got our manual, of course, there. And then we have just bags and bags. So most of these are gonna be screws. So you get all these different screws for different models, different lengths, different thread pitches, all that good stuff. FN509, Canix, Sig P320, VP9, Smith & Wesson, Glock, the P365XL, which we're going to be using. Then you'll get your one degree shim plate, which we will talk about. You get a 1632 battery, and then you get your tool for taking the screws out and the battery cap. So now what we're gonna do is install it on this P365X macro to see how it sits and how easy it is to toss this on your handgun. All right, so I'm going to, of course, make sure my firearm is completely unloaded. And then I am going to hold onto 
this in my vise. Going to grab my Real Avid bit set with my T10 bit and my torque driver. So your dot is gonna come on this Picatinny mount like we saw in the box. So I'm going to take that off just by removing my two screws. Now I can remove the plate on my X macro. So this is where each firearm is going to be a little bit different, how the red dot mounts itself to the gun. Um, some firearms may have shims, may have plates, different things like that. But like I said, the Defender fix the Shield RMSC pattern, which is a direct fitment on the P365 pistol. So it fits down perfect, honestly. No side to side or front to back movement. And now I can grab my screws that fit this particular firearm. All right, so now I have my screws for the P365XL. I have my battery because we're going to add that. And then I have my tool that is included in the package to install. Now we can set our screws in here and torque these down. So Vortex does recommend 15 inch pounds on these screws. If they have Loctite on them, they recommend 10 or 11. Um, the screws that it comes with does have a little bit of blue Loctite. So putting it around that 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 15 will be just fine. All right, now that it's mounted, I can take the tool that is included and I can take the cap off where the battery sits. One thing that is included in the kit is the one degree shim plate. So if you're having problems with sighting in your red dot closer than 15 yards, you may need to add this plate. My recommendation would be to mount it without the plate, take it to the range, see if you can zero it at 10 to 15 yards, wherever you wanna zero it without needing more adjustment. If you do need more adjustment, then you can come back, install the shim plate underneath your red dot and then go from there. All right, now that we have the Defender mounted to our P365X macro, we can kind of play around with it and really start to see how big this window is for a micro red dot, how rugged it feels. The buttons are really nice. Turning it down, that dot is super crisp. Gets very bright. I'll have to mess around with the motion activation which is a cool feature. Now, obviously we're not able to take this to the range and shoot it and do all that stuff. So I can't give you a full review. Um, can't put thousands of rounds through it, unfortunately, and really test it out. But I think as they hit the market, we'll start to see how they hold up. I think it's gonna be a great product that gives you another option to add to your subcompact or compact pistol. I will leave a link below that goes directly to the defenders that we have in stock on our website. If you have any questions at all on this red dot or anything in general, don't hesitate to leave those below. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.